Hey there, and welcome to the first video in the Oxy Ninja video documentation series. My name is Jonathan from Permislog, and I'm going to show you how to get started with Oxy Ninja and take full advantage of the framework and the design sets. Today, we're going to begin with the quick start guide. The first thing you need to do is go over to oxyninja.com, click down here in the lower left on the account panel, and log into your account. Now, after you've made your purchase, you're going to view your purchase history tab here, and we're going to go to view details and downloads. Now inside your account panel here, the first thing you're going to see is all of the license keys for the different design sets associated with your account, as well as the Oxy Ninja plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is click this download for the Oxy Ninja plugin right here. Go ahead and get that on your computer, and then it's also going to be helpful for you to have the core framework cheat sheet. Now what we're going to do is go over to our WordPress install. So right now the only thing I have on here is Oxygen, and this is a completely blank install. So we're going to set this up from the beginning by going ahead into the plugin section, and we're going to click on Add New. Go ahead and upload the Oxy Ninja plugin that we just downloaded from our account panel. I'm going to install this. Activate it. Now that we have Oxy Ninja installed, what we're going to do is go to Oxygen settings. Then in the license tab here, you're going to find the Oxy Ninja plugin. So this is where we're going to go back to the account tab and you're going to take your license key for Oxy Ninja plugin, which you'll find right here. Just copy this and then we're going to paste it right here into this field and hit submit. Now that we have the license key input there, what we need to do now is switch over to the library tab here in the Oxygen settings. And what we're going to do is click on add design set. Now your site key again, you're going to find in your account panel. And I'm going to start off by doing the Oxy Ninja core design set first, and then we'll do Woo core. So I have my site key in here and now I just need to hit add source site. And you can see this adds a new option there for core. I'm going to do this again for Woo core one more time. And now we have core and Woo core on our site. So what we need to do is go into Oxygen, just go to your template here and your main site-wide template, whatever template you have doesn't actually matter. Just edit that with Oxygen. So without doing anything, the first time you load in, it's gonna ask you, do you want to import selectors and style sheets for Core and WooCore? You wanna go ahead and hit yes, please. It's gonna give you the confirmation that everything imported successfully. So now what you can do to see what it just did is go over here to your style sheets tab. If you click on the plus here, you'll see all the stuff that it just added for us. So this is the CSS grid that we can use later to build things like columns. And then a lot of the WooCommerce modifications are going to be inherited from these style sheets. And then a lot of the pre-built components that come with Core and WooCore have styles attached to them utilizing the built-in Oxygen classes. So to see those, what you can do is go to the selectors tab. You can expand Core and here is all the selectors that it comes with by default. Now you don't actually need to modify anything inside of these. We're going to actually add content from the design sets in the next video.